Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? I just got done uh, listening to Pastor Paul Begley interview Michael from around the world. And he was talking about a few things, but one of the things that I want to key in on is because a few weeks ago he had mentioned something and he said that he was only going to say it one time. And he does that quite often on quite a few different subjects. Like I say, I've been listening to him for over 10 years. And uh, he definitely has a style that, uh, well, as you know, his shows has so much information that it's very difficult to absorb everything he says. Even though he says it right there in front of our faces, it's hard to uh, digest that much information at one time. And he does it every single week, multiple times. So, during his interview, he brought the subject up. He didn't talk about it and he did not say what he said before in the past. What he did do, though, is explain something on a deeper level level that he only talked about one time before. Now, by no means do I want to say that this is advice or uh, maybe even that I it's not a good idea to do this. Uh, that's definitely the case. I'm not trying to say that I uh, suggest you do this. I'm just going to show you what I did, okay? And uh, what we're going to talk about is uh, what he had brought up a couple weeks ago. And I want to be very careful about this because what we're going to get ready to talk about is money. And this is a coin that's from 1921. It's an uncirculated $1. United States of America, $1. You see that? One dollar. United States, one dollar coin. Uh, from 100, exactly 100 years ago, 1921. Okay. And this was a dollar. Give me a whiskey, bartender. Keep the change, right? But we know that 100 years now, especially being uncirculated, that this one dollar coin is not worth the same as a one dollar green back paper dollar bill correct i mean there's quite a difference of value in it now here is another one dollar this was given to me by my grandfather it's from 1971 so this one dollar is 50 years old exactly it's still a dollar, right? One dollar. It's a one dollar United States of America coin. Yeah. Now, the difference is this has a lot more silver in it than this one. And if we get a dollar coin of today, a 2021 $20, dollar coin, it would have no silver in it. Even though it's the same coin. But the value of the three coins would be considerably different, correct? The value in it is tremendous different. Okay, so we're going to talk about money. And the root of all evil is the love of money. I've always been afraid of money because I've seen what it does to people. And when you have it, it gives you this air that you're better than others. When you are have money everything's going well you have a tendency to forget about jesus even because you're busy enjoying life instead of actually studying the word of god is that can that make sense yeah okay so i want to be careful about talking about this subject of money yes now a few weeks ago when michael said he's only going to talk about it once he had mentioned that there is going to be by the end of the year uh, a lot of millionaires and billionaires made out of uh, thin air overnight 
and he was talking about a few different uh, uh, the cryptocurrencies, how things are changing around the world, and that most Americans don't realize that the petrodollar, the U.S. petrodollar, has been replaced. And just very recently, even though it's been planned and thought about and talked about and wanted to be done many, many times in many, many different ways. Well, there's just a lot going on. So let's just, I'm not, we're not even talking about that part. But, but what he had talked about a few weeks ago was that things could change overnight really quickly. And we can go back in history and look at some of these type of things. Like we know that when Apple came out, right? The Apple company, that when it first went up on stock, on the stock market, uh, I, I don't know what it, uh, the IPO was on it, but let's just pretend like you put in $1, right? Bought one stock. Let's just say you bought one stock. The price of the Apple stocks right now is incredible and it has split to get to the price it's at now. So the $1 made people lots of money, yeah? And it would and it climbed up to the point where it went up super fast. So we know that these things can happen in the past. And again, I stress this is not financial advice. I don't suggest you do these type of things. I would never play the stock market. I've never seen anybody win. I've seen people get some money out of it and then crash it and lose everything just like Vegas. It's stacked and against you. So again, I am not trying to give advice. I am just going to show you and tell you what. I did by listening to somebody who was not given advice either. He was just explaining some of the things that are happening in America right now that most people don't understand. A lot of people in the next few days to weeks will tell you it's about Nasera and all part of the plan. And I trust, uh, I, I, I believe, uh, oh boy, I, uh, be careful, my friends, be careful, be careful, be careful. It will make more sense that it was a setup very soon but our dollar is going to be changing also and therefore things can change overnight quickly so what he had talked about tonight that reiterated and talked about a little bit more about his what is going to happen very shortly is that there's going to be a monetary switch and change type of things yes okay so what he started off on pastor paul begley's show tonight was he started talking about elon musk and he was talking about how it which i didn't realize was that elon musk was also the one that started bitcoin and we all know that bitcoin started at just an unbelievable cents you know number and now is it uh, I believe it's like at fifty thousand dollars per coin okay so it, now that was a long time climb and it was something that happened you know the story now Michael was talking about Elon Musk and how Amazingly, he was able to create back in the day this Bitcoin and how it sustained itself. Just like times, this was a silver dollar. This is a partial silver dollar. Our dollars are worth nothing. I went and took all my coins, my pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters and cashed them in today. And Elon Musk does the Dodge coin. I have dodge coins also but what i did because of what the hype and the stuff was i was able to cash in a hundred and seventeen dollars and forty cents worth of pennies nickels dimes and quarters i went out and bought the baby dodge coins and they are at this price right here per coin and a hundred and seventeen dollars bought Four million eight hundred eighty-one hundred thousand six hundred eighty. So almost five.